M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Yaesu FT991A. M0FXB, just a quick one. Let's just say you've got memory channels like I have here. And at the moment, I'm just using, when I'm in memory, like VFO memory. Look, like so. Um, I'm using my microphone to go up and down the memory channels. But let's just say you want to use this knob here and you just can't work out how to do it. Well, all you do is hit F menu. Yeah, and see MCH there. Tap that. And now when you come out, F menu again, and now when you change the, mem the MCH knob, we'll move the, the multi knob, let's call it, it's now going through our memory channels. So I think that's a convenient tip. Now, if you want to add that as a shortcut along here, because say you, wanna, you don't want the multi knob to use the memory channel, you just want to use RF power, tap it, and we're doing RF power now. And then the shortcut here, memory channel, and now memory channel. So how do you add these shortcuts? I'll just quickly show you, you just go, F menu, scroll right or left until you see swap. Once you've got swap, then decide where you want it to be. I decided I wanted it to be here. So hit the num F1 does the, the button beneath and then so cycle until you see memory channel. Here, tap it and it just puts it there. So and then you hit F menu again, like so. And now you've got a shortcut to your memory channel like so and it's got now for in me memory mode hit your shortcut and look you're going to scroll through seven three thanks for watching my channel please subscribe catch you on air m0fxb welcome to my videos on the yesu ft991a M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this is, I think this is the third time I've had the FT991A and I'm looking forward to playing with it again. So as you know, it's VHF, UHF, all mode radio, HF six meters and a tuner. And you can buy them new, I don't know, around 1200 pound, second hand, 800 ish. So this one's only like a year old. So we're just going to unbox it in this video. Obviously, I'm going to be making lots of videos. And the new thing I'm doing with this radio is I'm going to be using RT systems for the first time. So I thought I'd um, just do this unboxing and then we'll, we'll keep playing. So there's the manual. Excellent condition. Hardly ever used. <laughs> like a good radio ham. So we never use our manuals. Quite a basic uh, microphone on these. But you do have the up and down for search and it's good quality and you have the bass treble sort of switch at the back. The actual lead does unplug, which is quite handy. I've seen that before. And oh yeah, and um, it looks like I've got a ferrite ring being added to it because that's not standard, which is good. And then nice, nice chunky power lead there, four pin. So the actual radio, See if we can uh, take it out and then we'll zoom in. So the nice, very, very, you know, very good uh, supports here for the radio. And it's not a big radio, really. Just lift it out and just put it on its side like that. Take the uh, cover off. Now, the cover does fit only on one side, if that makes sense. Now, we're going to break it before we even uh, get to it. So, take the cover off. I will put a screen protector on it. Let's just, let's just zoom in a bit for you here. See if we can try not to drop it. So yeah, it's in like, it's in mint condition as you can see. And uh, you've got the clarifier here. RF gain, AF gain. That's probably your function button. Then you've got all your function buttons. So let's just uh, take, move all this packaging away and then we'll get it set up on the table. So there it is on the front, just a close up. And it's, it's a very nice size. It's quite easy to pick up and smaller than the 7300. From head, from top to bottom, it's shorter. I'll just show you the back panel and then we'll, uh, we'll end the video. So it does have built-in C4FM, which is quite nice. So there's your back. Now on this one, it has an N-type connector which is better for 70 centimeters. RTT data, I'm gonna actually try that out with my HRI 200 tuner, cat. I mean, everything at the back is like brand new. 
fan, HF six meters, USB. I bought myself a cable for a couple of pounds for that. It's like it's the same as the one you use in a printer. External speaker, uh, remote AUC, and that's it. So yeah, very pleased with that. So catch you on air. We're going to be making lots of videos using this radio. Bye for now. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So let's add a memory channel. So first thing is go to VFO mode by pressing the VM button here and it, VFO will appear up here. The next thing you want to do is select the band. So let's just select band here and we'll go to two beaters for now. Or we could select band and we can manually enter it. So let's do that. Enter. One, four, five. Let's do uh, seven, two, five, O. Oh. O, oh, enter. Okay, so we've selected the frequency of the output. Then we'll select the mode, so we'll go mode here, and we'll select FM. The next thing for our repeater is we're gonna need a minus shift. So if we tap the F button here, like so, we're gonna be going forward or back until we find the button that allows us to change the repeater shift. Keep going, eventually we'll find it. There it is here, RPT. And underneath it says simplex. Each time you tap it, it will change. It's now plus, but we want minus. It's now minus. If you hit it again, it will be simplex. So no shift. Then we need to know what tone we're going to use. So tap the tone here to the right. And we want it on encode, ENC. So we've got our tone, our minus shift, it's all showing up here. Now let's go forward one and set the tone frequency because we want 94.8. So see it there? Tap it and then we can change it with this multi knob. 94.8. There you are. So if we hit the F button now, we should all be set up with our repeater. Now we can set the power as well. Now I've got a shortcut here at the bottom. The power is set by just pressing the F again and cycle through until you see one that says power. Eventually, there you are, RF power, and you change it with this button here by tapping it, and then we'll go down to five. So that's your power set as well. And we can now test it and just go M0FXB. And to come out of this shortcut, just press F menu. So right now we've set it, and that will work on our repeater fine. Mic Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is get it into a memory channel. So just press the AM button here just once and you'll get your memory list and then select an empty channel is what I would recommend. So go down one. So we're selecting channel 03 channel. And then this time on the AM button here, hold it down and listen for two beeps. You've got two beeps. Now it's kept us in VFO mode. If we now go into memory mode by pressing the VM button here, we've now gone to memory. Now if we go to memory channel number three, We'll see it, and you can use the, the quickest way, just to use your microphone up and down button to cycle through the memories, look, up, down. There you go. So that's it, how to add a repeater and store to memory on the FT991. Now, if you wanna use your sort of multi-knob for changing the memory channels, so at the moment we're using our microphone, but you could use this multi-knob. All you do is go into menu, sorry, F menu here, and select MCH. If you select that, you could put it as a shortcut at the bottom. How do you do shortcuts? You just go to swap. So you just forward like so, swap. And let's just say, which one don't we really mind? Actually, we do use all of them. Let's do the repeater one. So we'll do swap like that. It will start flashing. Then we'll find the memory channel. Select it, and it's here at the bottom. So if we go like that F menu. So now when we're in VFO, when we're in, there's VFO, but when we're in memory channel, when we turn this, look, we'll cycle through our memory channels, which is quite nice. And let's just go to VFO and see if it does it with, uh, no, it doesn't do it with VFO. It's possible there's a way we can tell that button to do it as well. I know we can do it with the big one, but that'll be a separate video. Thanks for watching, 7 free, all the best. M0FXB, just a quick one. Let's just say you've got memory channels like I have here. And at the moment, I'm just using, when I'm in memory, like VFO memory, look, like so. Um, I'm using my microphone to go up and down the memory channels. But let's just say you want to use this knob here and you just can't work out how to do it. Well, all you do is hit F menu, yeah, and see MCH there. 
tap that, and now when you come out, F menu again, and now when you change the mem the MCH knob, we'll move the, the multi knob, let's call it, it's now going through our memory channels. So I think that's a convenient tip. Now, if you want to add that as a shortcut along here, because say you want to, you don't want the multi knob to use the memory channel, you just want to use RF power, tap it, and we're doing RF power now, and then the shortcut here, memory channel, and now memory channel. So how do you add these shortcuts? I'll just quickly show you, you just go F menu, scroll right or left until you see swap. Once you've got swap, then decide where you want it to be. I decided I wanted it to be here. So hit the num F1 does the, the button beneath and then so cycle until you see memory channel. Here, tap it and it just puts it there. So, and then you hit F menu again, like so. And now you've got a shortcut to your memory channel like so and it's good now if we're in me memory mode hit your shortcut and look you're going to scroll through seven three thanks for watching my channel please subscribe catch you on m 0 fxb welcome to my videos on the yesu ft 991a m 0 fxb just a quick one let's just say you've got memory channels like i have here and at the moment i'm just using when i'm in memory like vfo memory look like so um i'm using my microphone to go up and down the memory channels but let's just say you want to use this knob here and you just can't work out how to do it well all you do is hit f menu yeah and see mch there tap that and now when you come out f menu again and now when you change the mem the mch knob we'll move the the multi knob let's call it it's now going through our memory channels so i think that's a convenient tip now if you want to add that as a shortcut along here because say you want to you don't want the multi knob to use the memory channel you just want to use rf power Tap it, and we're doing RF power now. And then the shortcut here, memory channel, and now memory channel. So how do you add these shortcuts? I'll just quickly show you. You just go F menu, scroll right or left until you see swap. Once you've got swap, then decide where you want it to be. I decided I wanted it to be here. So hit the num F1 does the, the button beneath, and then so cycle until you see memory channel here tap it and it just puts it there so and then you hit f menu again like so and now you've got a shortcut to your memory channel like so and it's good now if we're in me memory mode hit your shortcut and look you're going to scroll through seven three thanks for watching my channel please subscribe catch you on m0 fxb welcome to my channel let's add your call sign to your 991 or 991A. So all you do is hold down menu. Now remember, your radio won't work in C4FM correctly with a hotspot, possibly a repeater, unless your call sign is in it. But anyway, hit my call here. So you watch me hold down the menu, my call. And then it, yours, if you've never put it in, will just say 991A. So all you do is type it in, so M, you know zero fxb moves across you've got back and enter and space once you've just just put your call sign in if you're and then have a, if you want your name or something else after just put a you know a slash here and then you can have four characters and click enter and then when you reboot the radio like so more light on this it will boot up let's do that again with your call sign and whatever else you've added. So I hope this helps. 73, catch you on it. M0FXP, how to add your manual coordinate coordinates for GPS in your 991 or 991A. So all you do, hold down the menu button here and you'll get these selections. Now you can add your call sign if you want, but latitude, longitude. So select that. There's plenty of apps out there that will give you your location and then just start to add it. So latitude and we're just going to put in fine we're just going to guess and you can select you know north or south click enter like so let's just go back now we'll do longitude we'll put, we'll put in normally mine's around two i think Let's go back here again. 
two, and then I think it's nine, I think. But anyway, we are guessing. And then go across. West. Enter. So we've got our lang <laughs> longitude in there. Go back. So we should have it in there now, all set up. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Not really sure why. Maybe it needs to have... Maybe, I, I get it, when you're connected to a GPS, because you can't add an external GPS to this radio, you can hit that and it will find it for you. So that makes sense. So that's that. And don't forget, you can also set your time here. Go back. CW text as well. What more do you want? 73, thanks for watching my video. Catch you on air. M0 FXB, here we are, Yesu FT 991A. I was thinking of making some HF. So, yeah, I mean, it's very nice display, colourful. It's a small scope, but, you know, you've got to think this is a, it's an all mode radio, all band, all mode. It's a, it's a compromise. You're not going to, it's not a 7300, it's not a 705, and it's not a uh, DX10, yeah? But you're getting everything in one box. Now, we've selected waterfall. How would you do that? Just press the menu here. And I think go to, it's about, cool. Let's find the selection. Right, there you are. So, number 115, we've selected waterfall. So if we deselect that, go select and then change it to spectrum and go back. You get that kind of, and you can change the color of the spectrum. It's still very nice. So let's have a look at the, the menu selections. Go menu again. We can select waterfall or spectrum. So back to waterfall, if we go back, and then you get that nice waterfall effect, which is good. If he, uh, if he, uh, yeah, when he was... It gives you a nice, you know, it gives you a nice overview of what's on the band. Look, you've got something up here, look. Activity here, and you know, it's just good. I like it. Um, so let's just go back into the menu settings. Just tap menu there. What can we change? We can change the span. So span frequency at the moment says 100 kilohertz. Let's change that. So we just move the multi knob, uh, highlight 116, and then hit select. And then we can change 200, 500, and 1000. So let's go to 1000 and go back. So now you're getting a much wider section of the band, which is, again, very nice. You know, let's, I don't know if this is in band, but if we move there to that section there, where it's busier, now it's way off band, as you can see. So that's okay. You get an idea of how that works. We go menu. I think let's set it on about 200. So select. Let's go to 200 there. Go back. Gives us a nice, I think, you know, I think I preferred it on 100. But anyway, let's go back to the menu. Uh, we've got the spectrum color, it can be red. Let's tap it, we can go sky blue, which is I think the common one. Purple, orange, green, let's do green. Go back, and now the spectrum is green. What we need is some activity. I think I liked it in red, to be honest. Back into the menu. Waterfall, green, waterfall, colour, multi, or you can select a colour. So let's just select, I like the multi, but let's select, let's do red. Red, go back, and look, now the, the waterfall is red. I don't know, quite nice actually, yeah. Still completely usable, and we go menu again. Now, I don't... These are EQI frequencies. So I think that's it. I think that's all your, your waterfall selection. So let's call this uh, the video that is talking about the waterfall scope. I like it. I definitely want to change it back to blue though. Um, actually multi, waterfall color, up one, red, select, multi. And then when you get multi, it's good because different strengths are a different colour. So red is, uh, is, 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 it just looks nice, put it that way. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. 7-3, all the best. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. I thought we'd have a quick look at these 150 menu items that we've got on the 991A. Now, I can't begin to tell you 
that I know what every one of them does, but we can still go through and have a quick look. So hit the F menu, no, the menu, there you go. And we'll start off at number one. We use the multi knob to go up and down. So number one is AGC fast delay. So you're changing the parameters of a lot of the settings that are on these knobs and buttons that you've got here. So one is uh, AG, AGC fast and you've got mid, slow, Home function is scope, so one of these buttons must be a home button. Okay, it must be on the screen. Um, my core indication is for one second. Display color purple, we can see that. Dimmer LED, yeah, we've got my, we've actually got mine dimmed down quite a bit um, for this video. Uh, so dimmer TFT bar meter peak. DVS RX out level, DVS TX out level, Kia type, yeah, that's for CW, Kia dot dash, CW weight, beacon interval, number style, contest number, CW memory, let's go a bit faster, noise blank rejection, you can adjust, everyone you can adjust the setting, noise blank level, beep level, I like the beep, time zone, we can change, GPS 232, so if you've got external GPS, you don't need to select the correct thing here. 232 rate, I'm sure that's all important. Cat ray, cat total, cat RTS. Memory group disabled, don't want that disabled. Let's select that, let's enable, okay. Uh, quick split frequencies. Uh, TX timeout, well, 10 minutes, that's good, isn't it? Mic scan yet yeah. so that's the button on your microphone you hold it and it will scan up and down a bit blurry but that's what that is uh mic scan resume yeah same again if it finds something it will let you listen and then it will resume uh ref, ref, ref frequency adjust uh am low cut quite a lot of am mic select is mic quite a lot of am settings there CW settings, PC keying, okay, you have to allow that, do you? Quick delay, data mode, PSK, other DISP, again, lots of data settings here. FM mic uh, select is mic, so all FM settings there, packet, shifts, yeah, repeater shifts, so obviously sometimes that can be quite crucial, certain things just... Um, just won't go in, will they? Let's just keep going. Radio ID, if you need that. GM display distance, AMS TX mode, auto. So that is basically, if you say selected, um, F, say you're in FM, I was not going to let me show it, and AMS is selected, and a digital signal comes in, it will automatically switch. RTTY, lots of settings there. So does this do RTTY decode? I'd like to know that actually. Uh, SSB, lots of SSB settings, mic select here, mic port settings, TX, contour width, IF notch, scan, SC, scope, yeah, all your scope settings are there. Quite a few, your color and the type and whether you have spectrum. PRM TRC equalizer. Ooh, don't even know what that is. Never used that ever. So I'm sure it's important. HF TX max power. Well, I like that because I might just lower that now. Because I don't like going anything over about 40. I'm going to lower that now. And then go to the next one. You know, it's like it will accidentally, it will be on a high figure and you won't even realise that'll do. I'm, I'm a very low power person. Um, I'll leave that on two metres at 50. Tune and select internal, so you can select external. Vox select is the mic. Vox gain, Vox delay, all important settings when you're setting up Vox. Data Vox gain. Emergency preset frequency. Right, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, manual, is that like a, yeah, I actually don't know. Wires DGID, yeah, know what that does. 
two people can use DJID, and then you go in group mode, you can send photographs and messages to each other and even work out where each other is. Display colour purple. Oh, back to the beginning. So yeah, just thought I'd just flip through those menus. Don't forget you've got a sub menu as well. You come out, you hit that, you've got this sub menu. Uh, and you can see, and I've already done a video on these, but you can see Mito, RF Power, Mic Gain, Sweep, Back, and just go through there, lots more there. And when you select anything on the sub menu, it is, it's, it's appropriate to what you're using. If you're using CW or USB, whatever you're on, digital, it will, it will grey out what you don't need. And then to adjust the parameters, you obviously, now you select things just by tapping them, but to adjust parameters, you change this multi knob here. Just turn this. Sometimes it's just tap, but if there's a parameter, you turn the multi knob, like power, for example. There, it's going down now. And, and there's a line here, it shows a line under the display to show adjustment, which is pretty cool. Um, and there you are, settings there. And you can actually have shortcut buttons. If you go all the way across and select swap, and you tap one of them, let's tap this one and we want to change the mic gain we just go to the one we do want to be there let's just say it's width and it's there look you've added a, a different shortcut because the bottom ones stay the same and that's very handy actually you've got mic proc box mocks break in that you know when you turn breaking on and off that means you either can or can't uh, use your cw key uh, it's just for a receive uh, which is again an important setting so like, just a quick, you know, I've done lots of videos on this radio, but I'm loving it. It's a smart radio. It's very nice. Um, quite, actually, I think, quite simple to use, although it's got a lot of menus in it. You know, it just does what it does on the t says on the tin. You know, if you want to go to HF, you go band, 7 megs. There's HF. Turn it down. Come out of the menu there. There's your nice waterfall scope. Tuner on. Look, tuner's on. If you want to tune, keep the power low. And then just hold it and tune. See, and it's tuning. We're on a long wire. It's not a great wire, but it's going to tune. Nine to one balance always works quite well. Tune. You go fast. Dial. Okay. Lots of really good filters on this radio as well. And, and, and it does see 4 FM. I mean, how good is that? VHF, UHF, six meters. So let's just quickly show you some C4FM. We go on to my memory channel. And then change. I've set it so that the multi key will change the memories. That's my uh, hotspot there, but no activity. See if Hubnet's got anything. Normally Hubnet's active. We're going to be using RT Systems to program this radio. That's uh, for another video. I've never used RT Systems before. I'm looking forward to learning it. So 7.3, catch you on air. All the best. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just looking at A and B bands here on the 991. So we're on A band now. Now it does say VFO A here, and if I push the B band, it switches from VFO A to VFO B. Now the weird thing is for me, if someone could let me know, is mine still says VFO A, although it is changing to another VFO. Is this a glitch? Um, so let's say now we can do it so that we go. We can hold down A equals B, so if that's A and we hold it down, which we just did, and then we go B, they're both the same. Now if we change band on the B, let's go 28 megs here and we go A, B, that works. So everything's working as it should, and if we're on this A to B, hold it down, now both bands are on uh, A to B. So is it standard that that stays on A? I'm going to look in the manual later. So yeah, I thought I'd point that out, let me know what you think. But otherwise, I'm very pleased with the radio, very nice radio. 7.3, all the best. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. We're looking at the 991A, which I think is a fantastic radio. All band, all mode, and uh, C4FM. So anyway, just looking at the automatic tuner. So we've got HF uh, antenna here. It's a uh, 9 to 1 balance with a, a length of wire. I can't remember how long it is, but it's, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, it needs tuning. So we've got some stations here. And our RF power is only at 5 watts. So what we're going to do, well, so let's show you how to change the power, because I've got it on a shortcut. But just press the F menu, go forward or back, until you see RF power, and then you can change your power with the multi knob here, up and down. It says 5 watts there, and it goes up and down. So, let's move away from these people. 
like so. We've got noise reduction on. Let's turn that off so we can hear it all. There you are. There you are. No people there at all. So we want to use the tuner. It's so simple. You literally just, to turn on the tuner, just, there's a button here, tune. Just turn it on and it's tuning on receive already. Now this is a three to one tuner, so it's not going to tune everything, but it, it, I think it does quite a good job. I actually feel like it does a better job than my 7300 did. So let's uh, keep it at five watts. Well, now we can select the meter that we want, SWR at the moment. How do we select the meter? Just go F, go keep going until you see the word meter, SWR. And if you tap it, it changes what? So you tap comp, IDO, IDD, VDD, PO, but we want SWR. ALC is really good if you're doing FTA, but we want SWR meter. So let's tune it now. So let's hold down tune. You can hear it, and it's, it's, it's a fast, quite a fast tune. It depends how bad your antenna is. And eventually, let's give it a quick test. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. So look, at, um, at five watts, it's, it's, it's very good. So let's just increase the power, tap RF power. Let's go to about 50 watts. I don't, to be honest with you, I never transmit higher than 50 ever. So let's try tune again. And it has managed to do it. Let's go. Mike Zero, Fox X3, Bravo, test. So completely adequate tuner. I'm very pleased with that. So I thought I'd show you how simple it is. And, you know, the 9918, it's just an excellent radio. VHF, UHF, C4FM. It does everything. Every, lots of buttons at the front to push. Lovely looking radio. And I'm just completely pleased with it. C4FM, you know, you've got bands, different bands here mode if we hit our memory channels i'm going to put a few in at the moment i'm going to be using rt systems to program this but anyway hit the memory and there's there you go there's my c4 fm hotspot jumbo hotspot in the background see if someone speaks we can even even hit the x button if we want hit f forward forward where is it X button there. We can get onto the Wise X system that way as well. And then for repeaters, it's it's excellent. That's GB3 FI there. M0 FXB M0 FXB. That's my local repeater, and it just looks so nice. I've actually got the screen dimmed right down. It's got a nice waterfall scope as well. If we go back to HF, push. Uh, VFO, I think. We're back on HF, and then yeah, it should show the scope. Sometimes I've got to turn it on and off to get the scope back on. There it goes. Oh, I know what it is. To hold down the sweep button, and then it starts to, you know, just permanently sweep. That's pretty good, isn't it? Look at that. How good is that? Very pleased with that. 7-3, all the best. Catch you on air. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one showing you the clarifier controls on this 991 that I've been playing with. 9918. So if you look here, you've got a big knob here, and if you turn it, look at the frequency here. It's a very quiet antenna. On and we've got the clarifier here. The day, look here where it says clarifier. So it's a, it's it's a fine tune. Like so at the moment, it's only uh, adjusting so it's a relatively quiet when I transmit. Uh, but as well. if I press uh, the clarifier button, a bit loud, here, you have an RX appear on the screen. See the little green RX? Now watch. So there you are, there's your clarifier. And while we're here, we'll show you the RF gain. So the RF gain at the moment is turned fully to the fully clockwise. We'll start to turn it backwards. 
It does sort of act as a bit of an attenuator. And that's your AFK now, volume control. And you have got some nice filter functions here. If you go short press F and then look at these different functions, they obviously got power there. Now if we look through, eventually we'll find some nice noise reduction selections. There's noise blanker, amplifier there, IPO. Let's leave it on one for now. Let's go forward. DNR, that's the one that really makes a big difference. Because it's got now he's very clear anyway. You see that, it literally gets rid of all the background noise. And when you've selected it, the, the multi-knob will change the uh, setting. So if you imagine the, 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 the sensor of the antenna is a full See that? just a bit more. And, then the and across, is, underneath, uh, the, down, underneath the, freak, the frequency readout, you get this line that moves whenever you change anything on the multi-knob. So you turn the multi-knob and this line moves up. I'm trying to do it without you, my fingers being in the way. See it going there? It's pretty good, but it seems to work well on one. Let's go to 20. So we're on 20. Let's find something noisy. Turn on DN. It literally gets rid of all the background noise. And the waterfall scope showing the activity there. So I think that's pretty good. Obviously, if you go back one, you've got DNF as well here, actually. Not sure what difference that makes. That's either on or off. Digital noise filter. You've got notch, contour. See that up there? That little line? It does make a difference actually. Especially if you go off frequency. Got wide narrow here. AGC. I leave it on auto. Shift here as well. And that's up there. All these things designed to help you, you know, enjoy listening more. Again there. And then you've got mic equaliser. Pro this is all to do with your microphone, transmitting audio. Vox on off, Mox, monitor, loads on this radio. So I thought I'd just quickly show you that. So 73, thanks for watching. Catch you on air. All the best. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this is, I think this is the third time I've had the FT991A and I'm looking forward to playing with it again. So as you know, it's VHF, UHF, all mode radio, HF six meters and a tuner, and you can buy them new. I don't know, around twelve hundred pound, second hand, eight hundred ish. So this one's only like a year old. So we're just going to unbox it in this video. Obviously, I'm going to be making lots of videos, and the new thing I'm doing with this radio is I'm going to be using RT systems for the first time. So I thought I'd um, just do this unboxing, and then we'll we'll keep playing. So there's the manual. Excellent condition. Hardly ever used. <laughs> like a good radio ham so we never use our manuals 
quite a basic uh, microphone on these, but you do have the up and down for search and it's good quality and you have the bass treble sort of switch at the back. The actual lead does unplug, which is quite handy. I've seen that before. And oh yeah, and um, it looks like I've got a ferrite ring being added to it because that's not standard, which is good. And then nice, nice chunky power lead there, four pin. So the actual radio, let's see if we can uh, take it out and then we'll zoom in. So the nice, very, very, you know, very good uh, supports here for the radio. And it's not a big radio, really. Just lift it out and just put it on its side like that. Take the uh, cover off now. The cover does fit only on one side, if that makes sense. Now we're going to break it before we even uh, get to it. So, let's take the cover off. I will put a screen protector on it. Let's just... Let's just zoom in a bit for you here. Yeah. See if we can try not to drop it. So, yeah, it's in like it's in mint condition as you can see. And you've got the clarifier here, RF gain, AF gain. That's probably your function button. Then you've got all your function buttons. So let's just uh, take move all this packaging away, and then we'll get it set up on the table. So there it is on the front, just a close up, and it's it's a very nice size. It's quite easy to pick up and smaller than the seven three hundred. From head from top to bottom, it's shorter. I'll just show you the back panel, and then we'll uh, we'll end the video. So it does have built in C four FM, which is quite nice. So there's your back. Now on this one, it has an N type connector which is better for 70 centimetres. RTT data, I'm going to actually try that out with my HRI 200 tuner, cat, I mean everything at the back is like brand new. Fan, HF 6 metres, USB, I bought myself a cable for a couple of pounds for that. It's, like, it's the same as the one you use in a printer. External speaker, uh, remote ALK, and that's it. So yeah, very pleased with that. So catch you on air. We're going to be making lots of videos using this radio. Bye for now.